we'll be talking about various types of pigments which are essential for photosynthesis. We know for this process there are four things which are required. There are raw material, that is water and carbon dioxide. Then we need sunlight or the plants need sunlight and the pigments. So basically for this process of photosynthesis, four things are required. Water and carbon dioxide are considered as raw material, sunlight and then pigments. We are talking about these pigments in this particular section. So when we say pigments, let us first write down their names. That is chlorophyll, which is the most important. And these chlorophylls are of various types. They are written as chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, C, D, E, bacterial chlorophyll and bacteriovirulin. That means there are seven different types of chlorophylls. We will take up the structure of this also. So chlorophyll is the most important pigment. Then the next category of pigments are carotenoids. Under this again we will talk about few. And third there are phycobilins. And under this also we will talk about two types that is phycoerythrin and phycocyanin. So we want to start with chlorophyll pigment and its structure. So if we say chlorophyll molecule, what exactly is chlorophyll molecule or this pigment made up of? It is made up of two parts, head and a tail. The head part is known as porphyrin hair and the tail is known as phytol side chain. Chlorophyll molecule has magnesium in its center and then there are four nitrogen atoms, four pyrrole rings, we'll draw that structure. Before that, these two chlorophylls, that is chlorophyll A and B, are the most important chlorophyll molecules. So let us compare chlorophyll A and B. Chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. One difference is that uh, in chlorophyll A, at position R, we will be able to understand that position R once we know the structure, which we will discuss after this. In chlorophyll A, at position R, there is methyl group. The functional group which is present is methyl. Whereas in chlorophyll B, at same position, that is at position R, it is aldehyde group. This is one difference which is in the structure. The next difference is in the color. Chlorophyll A, if we perform a chromatography and we see that chromatogram, that is the paper on which the chlorophyll is separated, chlorophyll A would appear bluish green and chlorophyll B would appear olive green. This is their natural color which we see on the chromatogram. Now the same chlorophyll molecules, they appear in different colors in reflected light and transmitted light. In reflected light. In reflected light, chlorophyll uh, A appears red and in the same reflected light, Chlorophyll B appears brownish red and in transmitted light
in transmitted light chlorophyll a appears green bright green whereas in transmitted light chlorophyll b appears yellowish green so these colors are very important and the structural difference is at the position r a has methyl group and b has aldehyde group the color wise also there are differences the natural color is different and in reflected and transmitted light also they look different so now let us talk about the structure of chlorophyll and then we will be able to compare or understand what is the basic difference being is between a and b at that position r so let us see the structure of chlorophyll now as we said chlorophyll molecule has one head like structure magnesium is in the center and attached to magnesium are four rings and each ring has nitrogen which is actually attached to this magnesium so nitrogen of this ring gets attached to this magnesium let us draw these rings here and then we will write down the carbon numbers this one is known as ring number 1 this is 2 this is 3 this one is 4 and this is fifth now ring numbers 1 to 4 are known as pyrrole rings so that means in this particular part there are four pyrrole rings 1 2 3 and 4 and the fifth one that is this one is cyclopentanone ring these five rings four of pyrrole and one of cyclopentanone makes the head and this is known as porphyrin head sometimes this porphyrin head is also known as tetra pyloric head reason for calling it tetra pyloric because there are four pyrrole rings now let us put carbon numbers here this is carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and 9 is here and 10 is here so this is how the carbon numbers are arranged position which is at carbon number 3 is called the r position we just now talked about it that r position if r position has methyl group then that is chlorophyll a and if r position has aldehyde group then that is chlorophyll b so we were talking about this r position sometimes as we said that this can be written as position x so position x or r one and the same thing but we have to remember this position is at carbon number 3 and it is a part of ring 2 so first pyrrole ring second third and fourth so at carbon number 3 if there is methyl group it will be chlorophyll a if it is aldehyde it will be chlorophyll b now attached to the seventh carbon is a long hydrocarbon chain and this hydrocarbon chain has 20 carbon atoms and this one is known as the phytol side chain or phytol tail also so sometimes it is also called phytol tail 
and this is what is the structure of chlorophyll we have not drawn other uh, bonds which are formed but the most important thing is magnesium is in the center attached to this magnesium are four pyrrole rings and magnesium is attached to the nitrogen atom of those pyrrole rings second ring at its carbon number 3 has position r and this r can have different types of functional groups depending upon the type of functional group the chlorophyll type will also be different the tail or the side chain that is the phytol side chain is attached on ring number 4 and at position 7 that is where the carbon 7 is present so this part this big part which we are talking of this is the head and this long hydrocarbon chain which is made up of 20 carbon atoms this is the side chain or the phytol so now this is what is the chlorophyll molecule we have to remember only these important things what is in the center which type of rings and the positions the position which is r and the position where the tail is attached so now we understood that difference between chlorophyll a and b is only one that is one functional group at position r now let us take the other uh, pigments that is carotenoids and phycobalins the next category of pigments are carotenoids these carotenoids are lipid molecules that means they are fatty in nature and they are of two types one is carotene and the others are xanthophils the formula is c40 h56 in case of carotene and in case of xanthophil it is c40 h56 and o2 that is the only difference carotene are orange red in color whereas xanthophils they are yellowish brown the two most common xanthophils that we find that we can write as example is fucoxanthin and lutein or lutein these are two most common uh, xanthophils that we come across the next category of pigments are called phycobilins and these phycobilins are predominantly found in blue green algae They are also of two types. One, phycocyanin, which is a purple colored pigment or purple pigment. And second, phycoerythrin. And phycoerythrin are red. So they are found in blue green algae. One more important thing which we need to know about phycobilins that in their structure in the molecule in the pigment molecule there is no magnesium and secondly there is no phytol tail or side chain so this is a very important difference which it has from chlorophyll molecule so now we have talked of all seven types of chlorophyll that is a b c d e and bacteriochlorophyll and bacteriovirudin we have also understood the structure of chlorophyll and we know the difference between chlorophyll a and b then the next category are carotenoids and then phycobilins out of all these pigments chlorophyll a is the most important one and the reason why it is most important or considered as most important because chlorophyll a acts as the reaction center chlorophyll reaction center chlorophyll is the one from where this process of photosynthesis actually starts and all other pigments that is other chlorophylls, carotenoids, phycobilins,
hypovalents, all other pigments are accessory pigments or they are going to help chlorophyll molecule. How they help that we will understand in photosystems. So they are called accessory pigments or the helping pigments. When we draw the structure of a photosystem, we will see how the accessory or helping pigments actually help this main reaction center chlorophyll A. So chlorophyll A is the one from where the reaction is going to start and all other pigments are going to help in this process. So this is uh, the brief account of all the pigments which are essential for photosynthesis. In the next video, we'll talk about the site or exact location where photosynthesis takes place.